Hello everyone and welcome to another Live from the Workshop and my first episode of my Live from the Workshop slash Custom Figure Showcase, The Second Doctors. Um, so today we are going to be doing, obviously, a Second Doctor Custom. Um, and we are going to be doing, some of you may remember, a uh, couple of weeks ago I did a trilogy of uh, Dalek Customs from the Polystyle Publications uh, comics. Um, and so I'm going to be doing a second Doctor from that, and this is going to be the second Doctor from the comic The Witches, because in this comic um, it's the standard, fairly standard second Doctor, but he has a utility belt with a disintegrator ray, and uh, more notably, notably, he has the red braces and a red bow tie. So the first thing I'm going to be doing is painting up the shirt and painting up the uh, utility belt, which I've sculpted on. I've added these little bits of Milliput onto the side here, as you can see, because what I'm actually going to hopefully end up with is these will sort of puff the coat out a bit and just make it a bit easier to see the bits underneath the, uh, to see his braces and things underneath the shirt. Um, but yes, the first thing first is going to be to paint the shirt and to paint the utility belt. So let's get straight on with that. And so here we have the finished second Doctor from the Witches comic. Um, so I, I'm normally, this is where I go, I'm very pleased with how this came out, but it's more inclined to say I'm very surprised with how well this came out because it was one of those ones that it seemed like it was such an odd thing that I didn't think it would really work and it was just one of those things that I don't know why I just, it wasn't that I was, it wasn't that I didn't want to do it, but I was just one of those things where you're doing it and you think, I don't think this is going to work, but clearly it did and, and here it is. Um, you know, I'm very pleased with the sculpting work. The detailing has come out very nice as he spins around. You can just see his red braces underneath his uh, jacket. I'm very pleased that I've been able to use this head sculpt on again because as some of you will know, this is a head sculpt that I've made myself and is up for sale on my uh, eBay shop. But originally, myself, I'd only used the black and white version of this head sculpt on my black and white Second Doctor from Power of the Daleks. And whilst he doesn't wear this hat in the witch's comic he does in some of the other comics and uh he does wear it in sort of the um the logo previews as it were and this is the first uh color version of the head i actually made so it's nice to have uh, finally put this onto a custom and have a use of it i you know i really am sort of very pleased with um with how that looks uh, the obviously other addition I've made to this, as those of you will notice, is the gun. And that is something of a talking point when it comes to um, the comics because uh, it is in the... First of all, it's worth pointing out that this version I've got here is very inaccurate to the comics. I have put this on there because I had the spare Cyberman gun floating around at the bottom of the box and I just thought it looked a bit... It, well, it was very 60s. It's an invasion Cyberman gun. So I cut the end off, added the wire into it, which I then put onto the fixed onto the belt, um, uh, to, you know, to make it as he does in as it as he has it in the comic. But his use of the ray gun or the disintegrating gun, as it is in the comic, as I said, is something of a talking point because it's very uncharacteristic of the Doctor to use a gun. More specifically, the first story it appears in is the Master of Spiders. And there is one panel when he does kill, he kills a spider with it whilst saying, die, hideous creature, die, which is very strange for the Doctor to do that. However, um, as with many things, the canonicity of these comics can be debated, but uh, much later on, many, many years later, not that long ago, in fact, a follow-up to these 60s comics were made, which implies that at least some of them uh, featuring the Doctor, or at least the ones featuring the Doctor with his grandchildren, was in fact a dream that the Doctor often had um, in his, in his uh, dream state of his ideal sort of companion where his ideal sort of uh, companion quests or adventures where the enemies he faces are more sort of a bit naughty. They're not evil, they're just a bit, oh, you know, a bit 
bit bit mischievous sort of thing like that, you know. So uh, the inclusion of the of that as a dream, as these uh, as these events of a dream, obviously does then draw to question. Well, that means technically he didn't have the gun and he didn't really kill things, and you know it's just a it's a thing of the doctor's mind, which works well. Um, but it is worth pointing out that. It doesn't necessarily negate all of those the, can, uh, the canonicity of those comics because the later ones, where the second Doctor is exiled to Earth, but before his regeneration, there's technically there's not really a huge amount that doesn't say those particular ones on uh, didn't happen. So it's you know it's an interesting it's an interesting um, dynamic of these of these comics, and it would be lovely to see them reprinted. I do believe they are all available to view, uh, scans of them are available to view online on, uh, I think it's the WhoPix uh, site. They have scanned in all the comics, uh, including the, the original four, uh, first Doctor ones, second Doctor ones, and then later some of the third and fourth Doctor ones. Um, so it's, if you want to go and read them, I will put a link in the description. They are certainly an interesting read. As I said, the canonicity of them is very much debated, so uh, take what you read with a pinch of salt. But it is uh, certainly uh, a series of comics that I would love to see reprinted. But that brings to a close another Live from the Workshop, uh, and the first in my The Second Doctors custom series. As always, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Like, favorite, subscribe, share, it really helps me out a lot. And we show the description below for a link to my Patreon. I'm doing my very first figure animation, and you can get involved. There's exclusive content and water flow to do so, and finding my Patreon in any way gets your name at the end of my videos. I salute you all, and I will see you with another video very soon.